In this episode, we're going to take a look at the end of season results for my two accounts, see how they're doing and what they brought in, as well as open some chests from the Glint store. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey all you splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying hey, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. And also, this past Saturday was a very wild live stream. We went over by half an hour because the um, the talk and the discussion was so thick and furious that I couldn't even cut it off in an hour. So thanks to everybody who dropped by. And if you're interested, I do have my Saturday morning stand-up live stream, which usually goes from 11.30 to 12.30. 30 Eastern Daylight Time, right around lunchtime. Um, but like I said, this last time it, it went went over. So uh, it was a great time had by all. And I will leave the um, link to that show if you want to go back and watch it and see what I'm talking about. With that said, I appreciate everybody's time. And uh, please leave a like and subscribe if uh, you like this kind of content. Pass it around to your friends, uh, whoever uh, also enjoys Splinterlands content. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. Um, in the season today um, and my primary season or, or my primary account uh, ended the season in champ three which I was kind of amazed with the recent changes and events uh, that happened it is playing in wild archmage is playing it as a lot of you know and now I do have to pay the fee so basically we're watching how everything is shaking out with all the changes now this past season you will note that uh, they did increase the glint uh, that was incoming to your account if you're playing in wild whether you're playing with a bot or not and they brought it up to the level that modern was getting which was a two times multiplier so uh, I ended up with nine uh, almost 91,000 glint and I ended up in champ three so let's go ahead and claim okay since I just officially ended that last season we'll have to go ahead and get a wild pass and I do use vouchers so I will go ahead and I do not have enough vouchers so let's go ahead and go in and transfer vouchers if you're not familiar with this process you can go under the SPS click on vouchers and they are held on the SPS chain so I will transfer uh, from the SPS chain to in-game a uh, quantity of 40 which will be enough for me to buy my newest season pass and while I'm here, I'm also going to transfer some to my secondary account uh, because we will be diving into that as well. So those just went through. Now we'll go ahead and uh, transfer to player. And my secondary account is also Bronze Dragon, but with a zero. So we'll transfer 40 over there as well. And if you're wondering, Vouchers are currently at 0 .0132, so 40 of them is just almost 53 cents, U.S. cents. And uh, vouchers have been kind of holding their own over the last several days. Obviously, they are down uh, with the big discussion going on. I will be doing a video later on this week in a few days um, about the whole voucher discussion, what their, uh, you know, the various proposals and how that's going to affect um, the two biggest uh, player bases. I think that affects our the big SPS holders and stakers, I mean, and also uh, uh, prob probably bigger than that are the people that are node holders. So stay tuned for that uh, in a few days. So with that said, we're looking at almost 53 cents uh, as far as a fee to play the season, which I don't consider that uh, too much, but we'll look at it in comparison to uh, what I get out of this account versus what I get in my secondary account. So we can go ahead and buy the season pass now. So, and I'll have to go in and adjust Archmage to play a few more uh, battles uh, because it uh, has a little bit of energy to use up there. Okay, so with that said, uh, I have a balance of uh, 630, almost 635K uh, glint. Let's go ahead and go into the shop. Now, one thing I will note is that recently, well, since this whole uh, glint shop began, I have been working on my soulbound summoners and you can see at the present state I have three of the six maxed out the only ones I do not have maxed out. I'm pretty close with Pembroke Nymph uh, Franz Roughmane uh, is a little bit over halfway there not very close with Octavia Shadow Meld for some reason 
Um, so we'll go ahead and go ahead and buy some more rares, but I think I'm going to be kind of transitioning away from buying rares and kind of uh, go towards legendaries uh, for obvious reasons, right? Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, the last few times I've always liked to get my merits in. Um, I end up buying chests as well, which always uh, gives me a, 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 a lot of merit. So I'm going to do that first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go into the rare draws and I'm going to do 25. No, let's do 50. Let's do 50. And go ahead and use the alchemy potions since I have plenty of those. See what we come up with. Hopefully we'll be able to knock down those other summoners that I need. I think I might end up, a lot of these rares, I end up with a, a lot of extra BCX past the, uh, you know, the max level. And I might end up burning them in the future, but I haven't done so yet. So let's look at this. It's usually about a 50-50 mix. I did not get a 50-50 mix last time. We got one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So uh, less than 50-50 split this time as well. However, I did see several of the card types that I needed, so I consider this a, uh, a pretty good addition. And I'll have to go in and look at uh, where my summoners stand after this. Okay, so next up, what we're gonna try is we are going to try um, 50 major chests. And also gonna go ahead and use potions, why not? Okay, let's just do a reveal all, and it'll scroll through there, but we'll, we'll go back and check them out here in a minute. Bunch of potions. There's an epic. Hey, there's a gold foil. Swamp spitter. Okay, decent amount of merits. Uh, let's see here. 373, 306, 510, 541, 733, 403. Uh, 363, 301, four. so a bunch of merits. Uh, nothing really exciting besides maybe the gold foil swamp spitter. I did get the Krar Zok and Evelyn Avara. I'm not sure exactly where I stand with those. Uh, I have been playing her uh, uh, a few more times than normal. I, I don't really play him very often, but I knew, know there are some good combos there. Uh, not as many energy as I did have last time around, but I will be able to crank the VOD up uh, a little bit more. And I usually wait until about mid-season for that. It seems like the first two days are really rough because the people that down-leveled are kind of trying to get back up. So uh, I end up waiting on that. Now... Let's go ahead and do some legendary draws. Um, well, let's go ahead and go ahead and grab. The first level of merits. Because I do still consider those. Um, worth it, at least two levels. I mean, of course, it just depends upon how much you have to spend but I think at least two levels of those are worth it. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some legendary draws. Do I want to do legendary draws or do I want to do ultimate chests? Um, let's do five legendary draws. Use the potion. Frexian Hero. Usut. Another Frexian Hero. Kulu Mastermind. He's the center of a lot of good combos. And Soriel the Bale. Pretty nice draw. I wish I wouldn't have had doubles up on Frexian Hero, but that might help me level him, so we will see. Okay, just basically doing some rough numbers, uh, and I didn't want to dig too far into this right now. Um, 
in this particular video, but my season rough numbers, I went back and I was keeping an average and I was winning between uh, on, you know, 10, 11 wins per day on average. So as the changes have taken effect uh, with this last season, my amount of glint has went up. The amount of SPS per win has went up as well. Um, but I'm getting a little bit fewer wins. So that's how this shakes out. Um, but these are the numbers. Uh, and like I said, these aren't exact. These are just rough averages. Uh, so over the season, I won about 385 SPS uh, minus the Archmage fee, which is 35% of 100, uh, which is 135. And then uh, that brings us to 250, which is about $1.65 at the present uh, rate. Um, and then uh, minus about 50 cents for the season pass. So that brings me down to about $1.10 uh, as far as what the SBS is value that, um, valued at currently that I earned over the season. And once again, this is not including the glint, which we just spent and does add value to the deck uh, as far as play uh, play cards go. Um, okay, jumping over to my secondary account. Hey, look, uh, the brawl descended and I got some uh, credit for being in the brawl. Let's go in and see how my season ended. Okay, so my season ended on my secondary account, which um, to bring you up to speed, if you haven't been watching these videos, is uh, largely an account with a lot of silver level type cards in it. Uh, doesn't have a huge amount of SPS staked. Uh, thanks to go out to a guild member who has been uh, lending me uh, staked SPS for this account to, I think, see exactly what it's doing for the account, uh, but also help me out. So I do appreciate that. Um, this account ended up in Diamond 1, which kind of surprised me with the level cards it has. Uh, but I ended up uh, with 33, a little bit over 33,000 glint. Okay, we will continue. And I also have to go ahead and get the wild pass. Once again, I came over here on the voucher section and I have to transfer. I did transfer them from my primary account to my secondary account, but I also have to transfer them uh, from the SPS chain to in game. So we'll just do 40. This is a little bit of behind the scenes if you're not used to it. Um, but I think as far as everything goes, it's still cheapest to pay for your season fee with uh, vouchers, even with all the big voucher discussion going on. So yes, let's continue. Get the wild pass, go ahead and buy with vouchers. Okay. Now this account, I was doing very similar as far as trying to level up my summoners. Let's see. They're sitting pretty good for this account. Obviously, I think I'm still going to focus on my summoners for this account because I think that lends the best value. Um, I also believe that we will go ahead and um, buy some more um, merits as well. because I believe those cards are very, um, uh, as far as the strength they offer your deck and lend to your deck, uh, it's well worth it. Okay, mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to go in with another batch of these. And I forgot to open uh, those packs on my primary account, so. Okay, so what we're going to do is I have 127,000, so we're going to do um, let's go ahead and do 50 rare draws. I only have a few potions, so I'm just going to use them up. Reveal all. Got a good portion of uh, summoners there. Gold foil. So it looks like, let's just spin through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, a gold foil rip boat captain. 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So a little bit over 50, 50 plus two gold foils. Can't beat that. I consider that pretty good, uh, pretty good results right there. We'll take a look at these and see where I go from here. So I will be able to level Etern and Brune. So he's at level four now. Uh, will not be able to level Pembroke Nymph, but we'll go ahead and combine. We've got a level four of her. Lob Lowland. Won't quite make it to level. My phone's blowing up with those Atlas Earth notifications. Thanks, everybody. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just going into fourth level on Fran's Rough Main, but uh, I do think that uh, these will offer a good value to this particular account. Uh, and just enough to level uh, Octavia. And just enough to uh, level Helios Matriarch as well. So this was a good batch. It strengthened this deck quite well. Okay, let's take a look at... I can buy three Gladius cases. And I can buy, let me see, back. Cannot buy uh, Bloodstones or Power Stones yet in this guild. So let's go ahead and open the three. See what I score. Cross my fingers. Okay, open all. Aliza Fox got a gold foil Rich Witch of Warwick, who I don't use very often. Um, love Catrelba, love Isgald. I mean, I use him, I wouldn't say I use him as much as I use Catrelba, but Bertrand and Catrelba, very strong cards. I use Edith once in a while when I have the mana to. Uh, love Crash uh, for that speed. Not so much in actually Splinter Lands, but in Splinter Forge. I uh, use Whistling Damon in low mana matches, so not too bad. Uh, nothing really awesome here, but it will help out. Okay. And for those interested in the rough numbers for my secondary account, uh, I went back and did an average, and I got about nine, eight to nine wins per day on average. Totaled out uh, at uh, about 0.8, cent, or 0.8 SPS per win. Led me to a season overall winning of about 100 SPS. Like I said, these are just rough. Um, and then minus the 35% Archmage fee, Brought me down to 65, which is roughly 43 cents, minus uh, about 50 cents for the season pass. Uh, and I'm still in the negative uh, for this account. Uh, but like I said, I did win whatever it was like 30,000 plus glint. So um, the glint is able to help strengthen the account. But that's how the uh, numbers work out for this secondary account. OK, just because I forgot it earlier, we're jumping back over to my main account and I have uh, I have enough to get nine uh, Gladius cases. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy eight to leave some merits left over for Bloodstones. So let's just go ahead and buy eight. And see how many um, Bloodstones I can get with my extra leftover merits, so to speak. So I have 3,800 uh, merits. Let's go back. Um, didn't really feel like doing the math, so. Okay, so we get 69. We can get 69 bloodstones with that, which should help out. Okay, so. We'll go back and we will open these packs. So I have a total of nine uh, to open and we will open those and see what happens. Cross my fingers. 
Okay. Captain Katie. Oh, it's shaking. Fina, Vixum, Voxum. Ooh. Got a few nice ones here. Okay, so I consider this a really nice draw. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have this. Uh, I have uh, a Fina. I have a ca several Captain Katie's, of course. She's very popular. I use Relinor Cleaver quite often. Uh, I use Ajax Lightfoot quite often. Sometimes I use Isgald. Um, this is one card that I'm not familiar with, and I will have to take a look. Of course, it has Bloodlust, but it also has uh, Blast, which would come in handy, and it is uh, Water. So I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, in the comments, if you know a good combo for this, let me know. Uh, of course, we have some more Katroba Gobson. Love her. I want to max her out. I have not yet. Um, Lisa Fox once in a while. Crash, we talked about her. And low mana matches, I like Bertrol. Uh, we have a Larissa Carato, uh, also very popular. Uh, I like to use her as well whenever I can get that in. Um, don't play Dragon a whole lot, but uh, when, when I can fit that in with the higher mana, I like that. So. Okay, so this has been Bronze Dragon, uh, bringing you end of season, uh, a rough look at uh, where we stand and uh, what happened with my two accounts this week. Uh, let me know in the comments, what's uh, what did you get this week and uh, was it worth it? Did you have fun? Uh, are you playing in uh, Modern now or are you still using a bot in Wild? Let me know what's going on. Thanks a lot, this has been Bronze Dragon. Uh, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy and I will see you in Splinterlands. Mm -hmm.